Good evening, everybody. It's once again Ted the Speed Learner, and tonight you're probably asking, what is a multiple car? Well, yeah, it's a multiple car, eh? And what is a multiple can? Well, do you recall in previous videos where I discussed the menu in, the subtraw in, the add in, the sum, and the difference? Well, we're going to explain these terms tonight. Yes, we're going to be talking about multiplication. All right, but first, I'm probably one of the rare few YouTube personalities on the YouTube platform that will never go, oh, please, 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 please like my video. And if you would be ever so kind as to subscribe to my channel, which will cause all my videos to be shared all over the platform. Let me tell you something. That ain't going to work. And I'll tell you why. Because YouTube cannot determine what they need to determine, which is whether my videos are keeping you guys on their platform by the use of the like buttons and the subscribe buttons. Okay? Now, why do these people tell you this? Well, number one, it extends the watch time on their videos which I'll tell you a little later why that would have an effect. But anyway, the other thing is that um, the like button itself, you could flip through things all day long and just go like, 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 like. It's not going to tell YouTube anything, okay? Now, as for the subscribe button, that's a little different story. Have you noticed that when you hit the subscribe button now, this little menu pops up and it, it sets your bell notifications? There you go. That's why they're telling you that. Now, the, the bell notifications might tell YouTube something about how popular your channel is, and they might want to share your videos because of it. Okay? But what will cause YouTube to share your videos? Well, there are two things you can... Well, first of all, if people like you who are watching these videos right now were to copy the URL of the video and share it on a different social media platform like Facebook, uh, what used to be Twitter now is X, uh, Gab, uh, you got Truth Social, Instagram, you, Threads, whatever you want to share it on. That would get your video shared more. Okay. Number two, when you increase the watch time of the video, then YouTube gets an indication that you, you people are actually watching the whole thing and not just watching bits or pieces and, and jump, jump cutting through everything in your video. So that is a good indication. The other thing you could do, okay, is you can leave very nice comments in the comments section below. And what that tells them is you were engaged, you watched, you replied, you, you really liked the, the content that you were watching, and that helps your, your ratings as well. So, really what you really want to do, if you want to increase, uh, if you want to motivate YouTube to share your videos more often, watch the videos all the way through, well not you, but I mean your audience needs to watch the videos all the way through, increasing the watch time of every single one of your videos, or have them leave the nice comments in the comments section below, so that YouTube can see for themselves that, gee, this is a video we want to share all over the platform. And there you go. And another thing I need to mention real quick before we resume our video is that uh, I have published five Kindle books. They're five bucks a piece. If you want a copy of any of these Kindle books, just leave me a comment in the comments section below and I'll send you a hyperlink to my latest book, which you now can see on the screen. And then uh, from there, you can find my other four Kindle books, and there will be more Kindle books coming soon. It's all up to you. Buy them, and let me know what you think about them. All right, on to the video. Okay, let's start the discussion. Now, first of all, how will you remember all these wonderful terms I've introduced so far? Well... Just imagine you have a food additive and you expose the food additives to sunshine. That's how you remember some. And after you use the food additives to make food, 
you place the food on a menu and you give it to a customer. Then you subtract your hand from the menu. Now imagine that there are different menus in your restaurant. Now you can remember all the terms. Okay. Now I will show you how the words multiple, multiplier and multiple can work. Okay. Now multiple care is the Latin term for multiplication. So we have a multiplier We have a multiplier and a multiple can. Okay? So let's have the number 2 times 2 equals 4. You've seen that, right? Well, this number right here is your multiplier. This number right here is your multiple can. And this number right here is your product. Okay. Now, how are you going to remember that? Okay. Now, let's say, let's go back to our original illustration where you had the food additives, they were exposed to sunshine, you made the food, and uh, you placed the food on menus, and then you subtracted your hand from the menus, and of course, you had different menus all throughout the rest your restaurant. Now, uh, imagine that you had to use a pair of pliers to remove your hands from the menus. Okay? Now, that'll help you remember multiplier. Now, what about multiple can? So, let's just imagine that you place your food after you remove your hand from the menus, uh, you have your food and it's now in cans given to the customer. And then, um, well, let's just think about it for a second. Aren't you giving your customers a product once they pay for the food? There you go. All right, well, I hope you learned a bunch from this particular presentation. I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.